Young obviously has pokey cleavage. I never thought I never thought that would be something I would say. Pokey cleavage. This is a Pokemon. This Pokemon got titties. That's not that's not something that's supposed to happen, bro. What is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, bringing you another episode of the award-winning, fan-loved, well-liked, incredibly well-received Theater. All right. So, of course, you know what I'm saying. Because if you like videos like this, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all that stuff that YouTube requires you to do in order to continue getting my videos. Yes, I am wearing a headset. You can see um, why I'm wearing this headset is because I'm filming this before uh, while I was setting up for my stream today. So you can check me out at um, RSM Plays. I'm probably streaming while, right now <laughs> while this video drops because this video is probably going to drop 4.35 o'clock. So, yeah, I'll be on by that point. So come and check me out. All right. So today we have two leaks. Uh, or fake leaks, you know what I'm saying, for uh, fake leak theater. One of them sounds really interesting. The other one will probably give you nightmares. <laughs> so we got today's, this one right here. So supposedly this is the second stage, uh, the second stage of uh, Sprigatito. And I'm like, bro, this is nightmare fuel, bro. What is this? <laughs> what is this, bro? I like, yo, I don't know what it is about this drawing, man. It's just me it's, it's, it's messing with me, man. I mean, I don't know if this drawing obviously has pokey cleavage. I never thought, I never thought that would be something I would say. Pokey cleavage. All right, this, this, this Pokemon is stacked. I mean, I know that, you know, that, that, you know, Japan draws characters that way, but this is a Pokemon. This Pokemon got titties. That's not, that's not something that's supposed to happen, bro. What is it, what is it supposed to be? Is this supposed to be like a, a I would assume that it's going to be like maybe a fairy type. Uh, that's what a lot of people are thinking, grass fairy. Um, I mean, all the purple, it could be grass dark. You know, uh, it's bipedal, so it could be grass fighting. But nothing, you know, that uh, about Sprigatito really screams fighting or, you know, fighting type. So dark or fairy are more than likely where, where it's going to be. Uh, but yeah, this thing is gross. Let's get this away from me. <laughs> so the next one, we have another one of these ones. So this one was from 4chan. Um, and this one is actually kind of interesting. So it says the region is called Fushi? Fushi? Fuka? I don't know. Um, and is indeed based on Spain, just as many people have speculated. Uh, it's not really speculation at this point. It's pretty much confirmed. But, uh, the, uh, and, you know, the evil team is Team Ballerin. Ballerinas. <laughs> they are basically a dancer team which make use of dancing Pokemon. So, basically, they are ballerinas. We fight in ballerinas. Freaking dancers. All right, people are gonna be out this jump, jiving and, and milli whopping. When, when when they beat you, they milli whop on you. Be like, every time they knock out a Pokemon, you see them doing like this, just milli whopping on you. <laughs> that is gonna be the f yo. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious right there. It would be it would be funny, but it would make me mad because it feel like they taunting me. You know, uh, regional forms. So regional forms are still here, uh, and Gen 4 starters get some. Infernape is a is like a pinkish red fluffy ape, which attacks using his soft fur. That is the most disrespectful sentence I've heard in my entire life, and I've been called the hard R. Okay, <laughs> that is the most disrespect. Infernape, a pink fluffy ape? That's disrespectful. Don't don't put some respect on a legend's name, bro. Torterra now has a snow tree on his back, as well as a snowy appearance. So I'm guessing Infernape's gonna be a fairy type. He's fighting fairy now. You know, 
and uh, and uh, Torterra is gonna be uh, uh, a, I guess a grass ice type, and then Empoleon is a wrestler with a penguin mask. Now that doesn't seem too bad. All right, you know, I mean, Empoleon will probably be like water fighting at that point if he's a wrestler. Um, but yeah, so water fighting, grass ice, and fire fairy. That's an interesting. That's an interesting combo for those three. But come on, bro, P a pink fluffy ape. Don't disrespect my man's like that. That's not cool. Uh, so Fue Coco evolves into a hot pepper crocodile, which uses its spiciness to attack enemies. So, are you basically telling me that Fui Coco is toxic? <laughs> he using his spiciness to attack enemies? Alright, he using gamer words out this... He using hard R's and, 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 and F with the, with, the, with the T on the end. You know what I'm saying? He using all the gamer words. Like, he's a, he's a griefer. He's just griefing people. <laughs> Fui Coco uses his spiciness to attack people. Either that or he's just edgy. Maybe he's edgy. That's what it is. Um, Quaxley evolves into one of those Spanish matadors. A Spanish... Wait a minute. Why would he be a matador? Now, this one right here where I kind of know is fake. I mean, we, we know it's fake, but this kind of confirms it because... Why would Quaxley evolve into a matador? Um, because, I mean, every, in, every, every indication states that he's going to be related to water. So, I mean, if anything... You know, like he would be, you know, a boat. You know what I'm saying, or or, or, or a, a, a marine, a ship captain, a pirate. Pirate is the most likely one because pirates people love pirates. You know what I'm saying, but a matador. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there is not a matador Pokemon in the game. You know what I'm saying. I mean, because there's probably going to be a bull Pokemon in the game. If you have a Spanish region, you don't have a bull Pokemon. Like, what are you doing with your life, Pokemon? Like, what are you doing, you know? But I don't think he's going to be a Matador. Uh, Spaghetti-Tooth Sprig evolves into a Sabertooth Tiger, which has a bunch of flowers around it, which uh, is understandable. I can kind of see that. I can see a Sabertooth cat with, like, a flower mane, something similar to, like, Meganium. Because, you know, Meganium had the big flower around his neck. Uh, I can see something similar to that, but instead of it just being a big flower, it's like a mane. You know what I'm saying? For like a lion, and he's like a saber tooth type. I can, I can see that. I kind of envision that as a final evolution for him. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, so far, yeah. All, so far, this one looks feasible. This one looks feasible, except for the toxicity. And that one is like, no, bro. I, I, that, that's not feasible at all. Um, you might want to catch the regional bug as it will be evolving into a bug dragon scorpion that sound kind of lit I ain't gonna lie um, the regional bird evolves into a Spanish chef which cooks Spanish meals okay so what would that translate into uh, Spanish chef that cooks Spanish meals like what would how would that translate into something Pokemon? Like what what type would he be? Would he be like a a flying grass type because it involves food, like flying flying fire? Um, what what would how would that? Let's see, Tauros is getting a regional form and evolution, but but the unique thing is Tauros's regional evolution. I'm trying to look over my camera. Uh into Fukin Bufalon. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks like Fukin Bufalon. Alright, so basically Taros gets a regional form and the evolution uh, and evolution, but the unique thing is Taros's regional evolution evolves into Fukin Bufalon. <laughs> um... That's interesting. I mean, cause I, I can see them connecting both of them together. You know what I'm saying? Cause I mean, even though I kind of hate Buffalon, cause I mean, he's literally just like a a buffalo or like a bull with like an afro. And I'm like, really, a afro bull? Like that's that's what we get. Thanks, Pokemon. 
Uh, and so then basically says more soon. So, what do you think of this leak? I think this leak is some old bullshit. <laughs> okay, some of it is fun. Some of it is definitely fun. But you know that that Torterra thing got me. I was like, really, a big pink fluffy ape? Like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that's about it for this, though. You know what I'm saying? So of course, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Check me out on my streaming channel because I'm streaming right now. And as always, folks. Keep it real. I'm gonna have something different for you tomorrow, though. I'm, I'm gonna do an animated video tomorrow because I'm, I've been, I've been catching up on all the seasonal animes. All right, so check me out tomorrow.